Welcome to this week's quarter mile rev up brought to you by Unforgotten Tech. Many manufacturers recommend breaking in their brake pads and shoes for better performance and longer life after installation. This process is often called burnishing, seating, bedding, or the break-in process. This process ensures the vehicle will have a long-lasting noise-free brake job that performs flawlessly from the start. Many brake manufacturers have a specific break-in procedure. If provided, make sure to follow these as they are specifically designed for the vehicle you are working on and will yield the best results. If not, the following procedure can be used as a substitute. The first thing we're going to want to do is to find a safe place to perform this procedure. This could be on a track or an open stretch of flat road. Be sure that you're able to speed up and slow down multiple times away from other vehicles. We will want to speed up to 35 miles per hour and use moderate braking pressure to slow down to 5 miles per hour. Make sure we do not get heavy on the brake pedal and we do not come to a complete stop. While driving, we will want to take 30 second pauses between braking to cool the rotors and then we'll repeat this about four or five times. Now we will bump it up to 55 miles per hour and use a stronger brake pressure to slow us down to about five miles per hour. We do not want to brake so hard that the ABS activates or the wheels lock up. And again, we do not want to come to a complete stop. With 30 second pauses between, repeat about four to five times. Now we will drive for about five to 10 minutes to allow the brakes to slowly cool down. We will want to try to use light braking pressure when needed and also try to avoid coming to a complete stop. And then the last step in the process will be to park the vehicle and let the brakes cool for about an hour. Some key takeaways during this process of the break-in, we want to try not to come to a complete stop. Squeezing the pads against the hot rotor can cause uneven material transfer. This can result in squeaking, pulsating, and reduced performance from the brakes. If working with performance brakes, they may have a higher temperature tolerance. This means that you may need to perform more rounds of speeding up and slowing down. Well, this is the basic brake-in process on most light vehicles. Taking a few minutes to complete this can save you a lot of time and headaches from a comeback and upset customer later. Well, Tell us what you thought of today's short video by leaving a comment below, and if you enjoyed today's content, please hit the like button and turn on those notifications. Also, if you're not a subscriber, please join our channel. Well, thank you very much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time here at Unforgotten Tech.